Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, these are the kinds of animals you normally want to stay away from, not the ones you expect to make friends with. But the world is a mysterious place. Mario, see, this is why we keep doing it. All these years. From a movie star hippo to a smooching alligator. Today, we're going to take a close look at these 15 dangerous animals that were caught being friendly. Fearsome Friends of the Deep The ocean is a deep, dark and dangerous place full of all types of creatures. If you were to see one of its mega monsters poke its head out, would you let your kids go out to play with them? And the harbor of Waltus, Spain? It's not even a question. Here we see children feeding a giant and hungry manta ray as it bobs to the top of the water. The local adults are even encouraging the kids. These manta rays are a class of the stingray family, but unlike the more dangerous cousin, manta rays don't actually have stingers. In fact, these slippery giants are mostly beloved by the locals and are often attracted to fishing boats tossing any unwanted fish. While this manta ray is already plenty big to be eating near children, the largest have been recorded to have a wingspan of up to 25 feet and weigh over 3,000 pounds. It may not be a whale or giant squid, but that's pretty huge by our standards. Manta rays are known for being graceful swimmers, gliding through the ocean, almost like shadows beneath the surface. While they only breach the surface on occasion, their speed allows them to jump at a lot higher than you'd expect. People have even reported manta rays doing backflips out of the water. Other stingrays you might encounter actually are potentially dangerous, especially when provoked. So unless you can safely tell the difference, maybe just wave to these guys from afar. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Shark bait. Did you know that statistically you're much more likely to get struck by lightning than ever encounter a shark attack? Famous shark movies have tainted the image of the sharp-toothed sea creatures for generations. Whether it's the familiar theme before Jaws chomps down on a snack or a snarknado tearing through cities, people have a misconception on just how dangerous these terrors of the deep might actually be. World-renowned shark expert Valerie Taylor defies the stereotypes and willingly hand-feeds a wild great white shark in its own habitat. She even gives it a little pat on the nose. The shark seems pretty happy with the free food and swims around like a dog waiting for a treat. Research from Florida's Museum of Natural History says that great white sharks are intelligent and good learners. With enough practice, patience, and fish, the blood-seeking hunters have been conditioned to take handouts and allow themselves to be researched, which is essentially what Valerie Taylor is doing here. It might take a will of steel to do what she does, though. One of her reports on how sharks bite and feed was written from first-hand experience. She swam through a school of great white sharks with tuna stuffed into her chainmail diving suit, allowing the sharks to chomp down as much as they wanted. While we don't recommend doing anything quite as extreme as that, maybe give sharks another look before writing them off as man-eaters. <laughs> Cuddling with a tiger Tigers are the largest class of wildcats on the planet and can weigh up to 363 kilograms, or a whopping 800 pounds. That does make them very dangerous, especially when you consider that they're carnivores who exclusively eat meat. But as you can see here, tigers might actually have a lot more in common with house cats than we thought. This group lets their tiger roam around freely, even sniffing their plates for food scraps and nuzzling on the couch for comfort. This heavyweight feline gets a bit too close and lovingly licks one of the owners before being casually pushed away. The owners definitely seem to be on the tiger's good side. There were originally eight known species of tiger, but human meddling and hunting has brought that number down to five. The Bengal tiger, Sumatran tiger, South China tiger, Indo-Chinese tiger, and Siberian tiger. This domesticated wildcat looks to be a young Indo-Chinese tiger probably found somewhere in India where the majority of tigers are known to live. While they usually can't survive on scraps alone, tigers really only need to eat one heavy meal a week. They spend most of their time lazing around and conserving energy, like your average house cat would, often getting 18 hours of sleep per day. 
but that one meal usually consists of a full-sized deer or boar which can add up to 88 pounds in a single sitting. If you plan on trying to raise a tiger yourself, be sure to stock up on protein or you might be the feline's next full course meal. <laughs> Wolf meets dog. Moving on from felines to canines, here's another fascinating example of evolution in real time. This alpha wolf and domesticated dog are fine examples of how far their species have come while still appearing familiar. The wolf scouts for danger, intending to protect its pack from intruders, only to encounter a house cat dog on a casual stroll through the zoo. While both animals come from completely different styles of life, you can see their excitement and tails wagging as they try to sniff each other through a glass wall. Originally, dogs and wolves were considered completely separate, though similar species. Canis familiaris and Canis lupus were the scientific names until recent years when researchers and scientists decided that they're both under the Canis lupus family. While both share a lot of similar qualities, the difference in their DNA goes much further than their appearance. Wolves, for instance, are impossible to domesticate from the wild. It takes years of breeding for the domestication to start, and humans have been breeding them for such an extensive time that modern-day dogs are almost a completely different animal. Wolves are much more savage and dangerous with jaws built to crush bones as opposed to treats. This wolf just happens to be curious behind the protective glass wall, making him a bit gentler than usual. But if that dog were to invade its territory and start some trouble, the wolf's bark would not be worse than its bite. <laughs> Jessica the Hippo you may not know if you aren't hip with hippos, but this is Jessica, one of South Africa's most famous animal stars in the world. And when we say she's a star, we're talking Discovery Channel, the BBC, and even the Oprah Winfrey Show. She's been in over a hundred films, including the blockbuster Mr. Bones. While normally hippos are dangerous creatures that take what they want because of their large mass and intimidating jaws, Jessica lives a much simpler life, eating with her human family. Tony and Shirley Jubert are honorary game rangers raising the wild calf, mostly letting her live on her own while occasionally stopping by for a free meal. They believe she was swept down the Blyde River shortly after her birth and ended up close to their home. She was weak and exhausted, so the Juberts leapt into action and crafted some homemade formula to keep her alive. Back then, Jessica was a tiny 16 kilograms, or 35 pounds, and only 30 centimeters tall which is underweight for a hippo at that age. They had their hands full feeding her the right number of calories she needed to grow, but to them it was well worth it. She's one of the family now, eating her favorite food of rooibos at every meal and sleeping with the family's five English bull terriers on their outdoor porch. If you're interested in meeting Jessica the hippo, you're in luck. Tourists stop by every now and then for her pictures and a chance to feed her. Just make sure you don't mix her up with any other hippos in the wild or you might regret it. <laughs> Cautious hyenas are no laughing matter. While certain animated films may have you believe that hyenas are wisecracking jokesters, in reality they're sophisticated predators with quite a mean streak. They're dominant carnivores across at least three continents and have a history of beating out humans for resources and caves, although you probably wouldn't know it based on this video from some passing tourists in South Africa. These hyenas were likely roaming the area when some people drove in and their curiosity got the best of them. Thankfully, hyenas aren't known for hunting humans, but that doesn't mean they're totally harmless. They commonly compete with lions for their prey, even going after cubs when they get the chance. They also aren't actually known for their laughter. Only the spotted hyenas have something close enough to what we call a laughing sound, but it is generally a source of anxiety or submission. Not really funny at all. These hyenas are clearly cautious of the humans recording them and even jump a bit when one of them moves their phone for a better angle. We definitely don't advise getting too close with hyenas, but it's nice that others have gotten such great footage of these dangerous animals being friendly. <coughs> Lending an octopus a helping hand while the octopus is a species known for being crafty and comparable to an average human's intelligence, they still struggle to survive like any other creature. This octopus was unfortunately beached with no way home until a passing group found it. The group assumed it could have been dead or dehydrated, so they helped it back into the ocean and hoped for the best. After a few minutes of rehydrating, the octopus swam away, 
and that was that. At least until the next day when the couple took another walk along the same beach. They say they found the same octopus in the same spot, but this time as a swimming friend. The octopus followed alongside them as they walked, almost as a way of thanking them for their help. Wild octopi are the rarer side of the coast, but they do often live near ocean surfaces, including reefs and crevices. They have plenty of tricky ways to avoid humans if they feel threatened, from attacking with their suction cup tentacles to shooting blinding ink while they hide or sometimes camouflage themselves into their surroundings. Here's a fun fact, they also have nine brains one to control each leg and a central brain for everything else. They're known problem solvers with long-term memory, so don't think you can easily outsmart them in a game of wits. The group that helped out this friendly octopus eventually named him Kurt and hoped to one day see him again. But for now, they've sworn off eating any and all octopus dishes. <laughs> There's a snake on my boot. You probably know this already, but rattlesnakes are very dangerous very venomous creatures. That isn't to say that people aren't more dangerous, especially if you've ever been to the Rattlesnake Roundup in Texas. But if you're not a trained professional, you should definitely avoid any wild snake whenever possible. In this instance, a brave soul recorded their encounter with a thirsty rattlesnake looking for a few licks of water. It was taken during a long drought in the desert, so the snake is either very comfortable around humans or simply that thirsty for a drink. We see the snake slowly slither up the rock right to this person's boot. It even takes a few licks before debating whether to proceed or flee. We don't know if the owner of the boot is scared or confident that they'll be okay, but they seem to manage fine while the snake gets a quick drink. Rattlesnakes rarely seek humans out, so it's usually people startling them that end up bit. That being said, less than 1% of rattlesnake bites actually result in death. This can be because of multiple reasons, whether the bite was dry or missed any vital parts of flesh. But if you do encounter a snake bite, professionals recommend you seek hospital attention immediately. Anti-venom for rattlesnakes is available, although very expensive. In Florida, a single vial can cost up to $20,000. So maybe don't let them slide onto your shoes and try giving them a bowl to catch water instead. <laughs> the Lion Tour Guide you never know what you'll find on a tour of the wild, but these tourists in Crimea definitely didn't expect this. A lion named Philia was filmed at the Taigan Safari Park, climbing into a nearly full tour guide cart. It casually steps over seats and people just to explore like any other curious cat would, and these people let it. The park is known for offering close interactions with the wildlife, which may explain why these tourists are more shocked and annoyed than afraid. They're also probably relaxed because they're being escorted by the park owner, who's commonly referred to as the Lion Whisperer. But even with proper knowledge and safety precautions, lions are still very dangerous and powerful creatures. In fact, just weeks before this recording, another lion attacked a woman in the same park. This lion is a different lion, but not everyone seems comfortable around her. One woman is seen immediately hopping out of the vehicle as soon as the lion climbs in. Probably a smart move, as long as she doesn't offend it somehow. If you're interested in getting up close shots and interactions with wildlife, this is definitely the place to be. The Photogenic Brown Bear Steppin Bears may be the funniest, coziest, most terrifying creatures you hope you'll never encounter. Unless it's Steppin the Bear, this talented brown bear weighs in at a massive 750 pounds and is currently dominating the Eastern European fashion world. When he isn't out modeling, he spends a lot of time eating and playing football with his found family. He was abandoned at a young age and discovered shortly after by his new parents. They took care of Stepan and raised him until eventually a Moscow-based photographer stepped in and offered the bear a bold new career. One of the owners claims that people have stereotyped ideas about Russia. They think we never smile and have bears walking the streets. We do have bears, but I want to show in my pictures that we do smile. She has several photo collections of Stepin and human models in a variety of settings and poses. They all say that Stepin is a treat to work with. She's even joked that she's had more problems photographing kittens. On his days off, Stepin also likes to watch TV with his humans and even waters their plants. Maybe we should all get a friend like Stepin. Hmm. Cute Cornflake, the Albino Python 
Burmese pythons are the third largest snakes in the world and an invasive species to the Florida wildlife. They aren't venomous, but their sharp fangs, powerful jaws, and ability to easily strangle their prey means they can be very dangerous when provoked. This friendly pet, on the other hand, is just a cute albino python domesticated and starring in the series of viral YouTube videos. Her name is Cornflake, and she spends most of her time being taken care of and documented by her owner. Together, they play outside, crawl through the house, and basically show us a unique twist on the snaky lifestyle. Cornflake is approximately 135 pounds and stretches out to nearly 16 feet in length. Burmese pythons like Cornflake spend most of their time hunting prey, so they're often overweight when held in captivity. They're carnivores, so food can be a bit tricky when held in captivity. As pets, they mostly survive on a diet of rabbit and mice, but they'll also eat other small mammals and birds in the wild. Since her regular diet is taken care of for her, it's no wonder Cornflake looks so happy and content. <laughs> Feeding stags in the suburbs While people tend to overthink how dangerous shark attacks are, most are often unprepared for the much more common deer attack in the wild. These attacks are more often than not just short charges when someone gets too close or spooks the deer in a way it wasn't expecting. The damage can be as simple as a few bruises to needing immediate hospital attention, depending on the attack. Stags, for instance, are often very powerful and have horns that can cause some major injuries. That's why in this video, you probably shouldn't try to replicate what these kids and their dad are up to. The video appears to showcase a nature lesson as the young children are feeding the wandering wildlife in their suburban neighborhood. The dad tells his youngest son not to pick up the bread if he drops it and slowly hand it towards the oncoming stag without any sudden movements. The child immediately drops his first slice of bread and goes to pick it up until his dad warns him again. The stag looks alarmed but thankfully doesn't respond aggressively. Eventually, the animals are all fed on bread and scurry off but hopefully they taught these kids a lesson to remember for a while. <laughs> World's Cuddliest Wolverine most people have rarely ever encountered a real wolverine or realized what they even look like outside of a superhero movie. That's why Steve Kroeschel of Kroeschel's Wildlife Center goes out of his way to show people just how cuddly a deadly wolverine can be. Wolverines are sometimes known as the compact killer, as small and soft as a raccoon with all of the power to take down an adult moose. We just want to remind everyone that a wolverine on a leash is still very dangerous and Steve is uniquely trained to handle them this way. Wolverines are not well documented by the scientific community because they're some of the most elusive creatures on Earth. They live in remote and rugged environments and will eat almost anything, dead or alive, warm or frozen. They're also constantly on the move, making them almost impossible to domesticate, let alone capture or even observe. That's why his experience is so different from anything you'll ever find on Wolverines. He's one of the few people to ever raise Wolverines in captivity and his playfulness with the creatures really shows his love and experience with the animals. If you ever find yourself in Haines, Alaska, see if you can find Kroeschel's Wildlife Center. You might find an experience unlike anything else. <laughs> Casper the Friendly Gator Alligators are known for very few things other than being grumpy floating logs and having dangerous snapping jaws. What they aren't known for is being cuddly creatures you would want to make friends with. At the Everglades outpost in Florida, Christopher Gillette showcases just how friendly gators can be. He starts off with a reminder that alligators are not Labradors. They will bite and eat anyone, including him, if given the chance. But his lesson doesn't quite come across when the adorable gator, Casper, grabs his arm and goes in for a face snuggle. Casper started out as a nuisance gator, meaning he occasionally took over someone's swimming pool or a local pond. There are over 1.25 million alligators in Florida, so it's almost impossible to not run into one at some point the longer you stay. Casper is no longer among that population and lives comfortably with humans and a well-balanced diet. Chris Gillette may warn us that Casper is a dangerous eating machine, but that mischievous grin and desire for hugs really makes it hard to believe. The sound a fox makes Finnegan the fox might just be the happiest fox you'll ever see. 
He's taking the internet by storm with his chattering sounds and giggles, which are rarely heard by those outside of the fox-carrying circles. Foxes like Finnegan are closely related to dogs, yet interestingly act much more like cats. They have sensitive whiskers and retractable claws, they're mostly active at night, and they hunt small rabbits and rodents. Finnegan is domesticated and belongs to a group called Save a Fox, ran by Michaela Raines in Minnesota. It's the largest fox rescue in the United States and has helped care for and save over 150 foxes since they've last reported. Most of their foxes come from fur farms or pet surrenders, but hardly any of them are ever released to the wild or adopted. Raines goes out of her way to ensure any potential adopters are the right fit, being responsible and knowledgeable about everything a fox needs to be cared for. But of all of their foxes, Finnegan is the real star. He spends his time playing and waiting to be played with, often getting overly excited and openly laughing for fun. He certainly is a handful, but with a laugh like that, who wouldn't want to play with him? That's a wrap for these 15 dangerous animals. Did they seem friendly to you, or would you still keep your distance? It's always important to remember that wild animals are not to be taken lightly. A trained professional should always give you advice before you act on your own. But if you do see something dangerous and friendly, make sure to get it on tape and show us. Mm -hmm.